shares of trading giant Interactive Brokers losing ground in the pre-market after the company fell short on profit expectations for the second quarter. Still, check out those shares. They are up 43 percent over the past year. That well outpaces the broader market. Joining us right now with more on the latest numbers and the state of the retail investor is Thomas Petterfee. He is Interactive Brokers founder and chairman. And Thomas, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Second, let's uh, walk through the quarter just a little bit. What happened uh, that was maybe below what the street had been anticipating? What, what caused some of those lower numbers? Thank you for having me. Well, uh, in this quarter was our second quarter in which we uh, topped the billion dollars of net mm -hmm. revenues. Unfortunately, we were hit by an unexpected large expense at the end of the quarter that took 12 cents out of our earnings. So, uh, And that, that was because of reserves related to regulatory investigations into the use of correct. unapproved electronic messaging. I mean, is this the crackdown from the SEC? Excuse me? What, what, what happened? Was uh, part of what you all said? Y yes, that... we, we were supposed to archive our, our, um, our employee communications. But as you know, the text messages that people use on, on their Apple phone, um, they, 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 we cannot archive them. So uh, that was the problem. Has that been addressed at this point, though? It won't be a problem going forward? But all we can do is to yell and scream at our employees to stop texting, right? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way to, to really uh, enforce it, right? Other than saying, if you keep texting, you will be fired, you will be penalized. You, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Thomas, let's let's talk through a little bit of what happened with commission revenue, because that number was unchanged from a year ago at $322 million, But when you looked at trading volumes, that was a little more mixed. Options contracts volume up 9 percent. Futures contracts down by about 3 percent. But the thing that really caught my attention was the stock, the stock share volumes down by 28 percent. Right. What happened? People aren't trading individual stocks as frequently? That is true on the, on the one hand. Secondly, our our top holdings have always been the, the, the seven stocks, the big seven stocks, right? And uh, as they are, have reached highs that uh, people have uh, huge unrealized profits in them and they are simply not trading them anymore. Mm -hmm. They don't want to realize the gains. So all the all the volumes switched to uh, went to options where they write call options against these stocks, and they just keep rolling them forward, and therefore they don't realize the gains, and they hope to um, realize a, a continuing uh, profit of taking in premiums as the stocks rise. Uh, they they repurchase the calls and they uh, have a loss on the calls, but they have the offsetting gain on the stock. If the stock falls, uh, they realize the, the premium. So it, it, this is what we're going to, I think, um, this is what will continue to happen going forward because the gains are huge and the taxes would be huge and they don't want to realize those taxes. Uh, those okay, gains. let's... Let's talk through that a little bit. I mean, you, you think it's that they don't want to pay big taxes, so they're not going to sell it. it. It's not necessarily a bullish sign. You think that they're holding on to these things? They don't want to sell it just because they think it's going to continue to climb? No, I think they don't want to sell it because, I, well, look, I don't know what they think. But, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they think on the one hand that they are probably going to go further, and on the other hand, they don't want to realize the gains. Let me ask you about a couple of things we've heard just in the last 24 hours or so. Yesterday, Walt Bettinger, who's, who's the CEO of Schwab, said that on his platform that clients have been adding equity exposure in the last few men, months and that the volume of buy orders on their, their platform is 20 percent higher than sell orders. He thinks that that is showing some investor optimism. But then this morning, Bank of America was out with its global fund manager survey and says that there is still a lot more fear than greed out there and that fund managers' cash is up to 5.3 percent from 5.1 percent the month before. Where, where do you kind of come down in this world of are investors feeling optimistic or are they feeling a little more fearful? How does it show well, on your platform? Our, our, the, our cash holdings, our customers' cash holdings have been around 30 percent. Uh, 
throughout this period, and at this time they are down to 28%. So there is not a significant uh, change. What has changed is that the stockhold, the value of the stockholdings has risen, but uh, the cash basically remained the same. So, so cash altogether is only up 2% uh, for the quarter. And given that we are paying 4.58% per, interest on qualified cash, it's, it's uh, amazing the, the inertia that people have that they keep keeping their money in, at banks where, and, and where they get nothing, no interest, and uh, they don't have send us their cash. It's just crazy. Yeah. That's what it is. But but optimism or fear? What what, what fear or greed is the bigger issue? But, well, I, I would say caution, caution. I mean, yeah, people people are optimistic because what choice do they have? I mean, you have to be optimistic. Otherwise, you look at the the growing debt burden and you say collapse is coming. Right.